is an acronym for the Healthy Willing Kid Foundation, which is a nonprofit that works with underprivileged and impoverished youth in the uh, greater Lansing community. We have about 360 kids a year that we assist, and on any given day we have anywhere between 15 and 45 kids. Our youth program generally starts about 3 o'clock and goes till about uh, 8 o'clock at night. We have lots of kids that come directly from school. And in that time span, we have like meal programs set up where the kids can come down and eat. And then uh, they get some assistance with their tutoring and things like that. And we have a hygiene program in order for them to take showers or get their clothes laundered. Well, the majority of the kids are fi are guided to us through the school system or word of mouth. That is a real big part of it. And the kids that we're trying to attract really are the kids that sort of recognize their circumstances and want to rise up above it. So we're not necessarily looking for kids that are in like diversion programs or in any kind of like probation or situations like that. Because what we typically find is kids that act out and maybe in a violent way or steal or get into trouble, they're oftentimes given help. They're put into like big brothers, big sisters or offered anger management courses, you know, or given like diversion programs. But we really try to target those kids that are sort of um, like be have become a recluse and maybe have really low self-esteem and basically you're coming from an impoverished situation but aren't necessarily acting out in a bad or negative way. Over the years I've built a relationship with the Lansing School District and basically the three schools that are within that district as well as the elementary schools in town in trying to get work in different programs started for kids that had needed assistance and tutoring and such and through my connections with them that's often how kids are referred or you know brought here for a tour or something. When kids first come here we just sort of sit down and talk to them see what grade they're in and try to you know assess what needs they may have. Uh, sometimes we identify things right away and maybe they don't know how to read or struggle with certain things or you can see like personality traits or maybe they're real dirty or something. You know, we try to figure out what the initial need may be and then we just try to introduce like a friendly family type environment for them to be part of and want to get involved with and then have them create a reason for them to want to come back and then we help them as time goes on as so we build a relationship with them. Very few parents are probably even know that their kids are here, it's sad to say, but you know, there's very few parents that seem to be actively involved. I have come to know some of the family parents and such, but I would probably say 80% of the parents are not involved and they're somewhat removed from the situation, which is the main reason that the child needs help to begin with. And we have like a dormitory here and we also have from time to time used our own personal homes to allow some of the kids to stay. It really depends on the circumstances. If we have someone that's been here, um, you know, all day and we go to take them home and no one's there or the house is abandoned. Uh, you know, certain situations dictate different things. Mm -hmm. Help Willing Kid Foundation, we basically have three sports that we work with. Okay. We have a boxing program which has grown so large that it's kind of taken on its own identity. And then under our umbrella as well, we have a swimming program okay. and like a track and field program. Okay. And with those three sports, there are three sports that allow the kids to train together um, regardless of age, height, weight, it's no. irrelevant, you know. But with boxing, swimming, and running, you know, you really have the ability for the kids to train together as a team, become close with one another, but not actually competing like an organized sport. Because with all the sports that we do, we have the ability to travel and take the kids to different events or take them to places to do things. Um, so by being involved in one of the sports, then they have the opportunity maybe to travel somewhere, even out of state or something, to attend an event and spend the night in a hotel. Generally, what I like to do is, if we have an event coming up, sometimes we'll take kids just to show them what it's like, a new kid, and then they kind of get hooked, you know, and want to come. They keep wanting to come to the gym for that opportunity to maybe travel again. We just have rules. I mean, everybody has to have their grades in line, and then we have to, you know, jump through the hoops of parental permission, and sometimes that's too hard to get, so that leaves us with a very select few. But basically, we try to offer it up to the kids that are doing the best here and are doing really well in school and, and have earned the right to, to go. So it's just, you know, trying to take these kids that are kind of aware of their situation and want to better themselves 
and provide them those opportunities to do it, whether it's through tutoring or, you know, feeding them or cleaning their clothes, just building their self-awareness, building their self-esteem, yeah. you know, and ultimately, you know, making them positive contributors to society, you know. We have three volunteers that basically run the operation, that run the foundation. And then we have a bunch of younger volunteers and other volunteers that help with, you know, like tutoring and cooking and cleaning and things like that. We get no governmental assistance or state assistance. Oh. We write grants, we get private donations, oh. um, we get in-kind donations, and then myself and the others that help out here basically pay out of our own pocket. A lot of the kids that we have, you know, they usually start around six years old and up to about 16, and then if they stay with the program, a lot of them stay and get involved because they, oh, nice. they give back. You know, they'll come back and help tutor, or they'll come back and volunteer to clean. And, oh, nice. you know, they, they do give back to the program, which is great because it's nice to see people that came up through the system want to help out. I can tell you a million kids that graduated high school, never got anybody pregnant, never got arrested, you know, have a good job. I mean, that's. Those are success stories in themselves. Yeah, we see a huge change in their development. I mean, I've had so many kids contact us and tell me, you know, how much ha impact it had on their life and that they wouldn't be where they are today without the guidance and the help of everyone down here.